Yo, 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 what up, world? It's your boy LA coming to you with another real life shit segment. Smoke time, man. So, as y'all know, we lost tonight. And it wasn't a it wasn't a bad loss, you know what I'm saying? Because we can learn from it. We can definitely learn from it. But uh, <laughs> some things I'm going to point out, man. Um, one, I'm gonna start. <clears throat> I'm gonna start with coach. And I never, I never really do this, man, but. I'ma have to go in, I'ma have to, this was coach, this loss right here, man, this is going on Coach Pop, here's why, like, man, I know people, some people will be like, man, you ain't never coached a game, a game a day in your life. What the fuck you know about coaching? Yeah. Uh, you don't have to actually coach a, a live game to know about coaching. It's either you got it in you or you don't. I just got it in me to coach a team. Plays, I learned how to run that shit and all that. But here's the problem. And I saw he pulled them. Uh, I think around it third quarter or something like that. Or uh, he didn't get back out there out there too late, man. And uh we have a weakness. But the weakness is like is is very uh it's manageable. It's a manageable weakness, but I don't like the weakness. And our weakness, man, and it's like, damn, man, I hate that I put him in my damn rap, man. Because I mean, I, I mean, I just was never too sold on him like that, man. He tall, he can block shots here and there, but I'm sorry, man. Like, y'all Caperto ain't it, man. I, I mean. We got the guards to defend the perimeter. We got that. Aldridge is not a good rim protector. He's more of a finesse guy. He don't have the the moves that Tim Duncan had to, you know, uh, get back out and play defense, man, because he don't play low to the ground, man. He plays up stiff. You know, and I, that's one thing I don't like about Aldridge is almost like, I don't know what it is, man. I don't know if it's just because he's too damn tall. I don't know if it's the fact that he don't want to get down low or he can't. Like, I don't know what the fuck it is, man. But he just can't really move that good to put himself back in position to block a shot, you know, a rebound and so forth. And then... So we know that Lamarcus Aldridge can't really dominate uh, down low like that. He's more of a elbow, you know, back to the basket, turn around, fade away, jumper type, you know, that type of dude. But I think Pop needs to, if you're gonna let Aldridge play that man. Where he want, you know, uh, play his game, then you gonna have to get an athletic center, man. Like we either either play Chimizzy Met too, man. Like 
Y'all can purdle. I mean, I mean, I don't know. Like, I just, I'm just gonna say the shit, man. Y'all can purdle is nothing but um, a slight upgrade from Paul Gasol. He's soft, man. He's not hard at all. Like, I don't know what dude be thinking. Like, is I don't. I really don't. When I be looking at his play and the shit that he do on the court. Uh, he don't react qu- uh, quickly like that, man. His reaction time is slow. His footing is slow. You, we have to go get, man, an athletic big man, man. Because if you get an athletic center that can protect the motherfucking paint, it'll make opposing teams and guards, small forwards, point guards, whatever, it'll make them think twice before coming in that paint. Because if they see that motherfucker, that, if they know we got a motherfucker that can jump, like Chimizzi Metu, he can jump high as fuck, he can block shots. I think Pop needs to sit him down, man, and talk to him and tell him, look, man, I need you to go out there because I know he play timid at sometimes. But he got the skill sets, man. He got the skill sets to fucking protect the goddamn paint. If you if we got to put Chimizzi Metu at center, man, then for God, no, please, man, do it. He will be a better upgrade down low with Aldridge than goddamn Yaka Purdo, man. Yaka Purdo ain't giving a shit, man. I mean, he give us some points here and there. When he out on the perimeter, it's like he can't shoot. At least if that was Shemizzi Matu, you leave him out there. He can shoot, man. He can shoot. From anywhere on the court, he can turn his back to you and shoot. Like, you need that extra person out there, especially at the big man position, that can give you some valuable points, man, and play some type of defense, man, give you some type of mobility. Play the damn man, man. Fuck, fuck Yaka Pearl's contract. I don't give a fuck what he making, man. He ain't producing. That's our main goddamn weakness. He's not producing, man. I watched this man since we got him. I don't like him. I'm sorry, man. I, I, it's like, he on my team. I got to roll with it because Pop ain't going to do shit with it. But, man, for real, I would trade him. I would trade his ass before the trade deadline ASAP. I ain't go get you a athletic center, man, from one of these goddamn teams out here. Somebody look around, look in free agency. And I still think, man, that we need to go sign Carmelo, man. Like, we got Demari Curl on the bench. That'll be a good asset. You need another score, man. You need another wing score, somebody that ain't afraid. Our guys, man, is good shooters. But when you talking about facing up with a motherfucker, you need a motherfucker that's 6'9", 6'8", like Carmelo Anthony, that can pull up in your face and shoot the ball. Man, I say, man, get go. We ain't got shit to lose. Because we didn't beat them with Paul without Paul George. I mean, with Paul George. So when Paul George come back, you know it ain't gonna be even tougher. Man, we ain't got nothing to lose, man. We need to go sign Carmelo Anthony, man. And we need to trade. Y'all can for an athletic center. That's what the fuck we need to do. Somebody that can goddamn rebound, who ain't always pity patting with the goddamn ball. The man can't hold the ball. It's like he don't pay attention. He get the ball, then don't look around. Like, dude, when you get a rebound, don't just turn and start doing shit. Get a rebound, come down with it, tuck the motherfucker, look around you, see who around you. Look for your men. Like, we got, a lot of us, a lot of our players do that shit, man. It's like, they get a rebound at the rim. And they fucking don't look to see if other men 
is around them. And then they get the ball stolen. Like, bro, y'all got y'all, y'all got y'all ball stolen by Kwai on, on several different occasions. Like, I know some of them probably could have been fouls, but at the same time, it's like y'all still got curlers with the ball. Y'all trying to dribble in traffic and shit. See, they got a motherfucker down there that's protecting their rim. You see what I'm saying? Like, Pirtle can't jump. Like, he barely fucking jumps, man. You got to go get an athletic center, man. And you got to sign Carmelo Anthony. Like, I'm so, bro. Like, I'm saying it right now. After the, after that game there, I it just it just alarmed me. It alarmed me, and then we didn't play with grit. We didn't play like nobody played with the sense of somebody got to take over. One thing I know about Melo on offense, he may not be that good on defense, but one thing I know about Melo on offense, man, he's a killer, and he can shoot from anywhere on the court, man. It ain't if we go get Melo, integrate him into that lineup, put DeMar DeRozan back at shooting guard, leave Murray at the uh one, or you can go I really don't want to put Melo in no power four, because he ain't no power four. But we need to go get an athletic center. Have Marcus Arden stay in his position. Go get uh Melo, put DeRozan back in his rightful position. Now your bench will get even stronger. You see what I'm saying? Because now Brian Forbes to go to the bench and come off the bench with Derrick White in the, in the next unit. That's how. That's what we need to do, man. But I, I'm telling you right now, man. We need to go get we need to go get Carmelo Anthony, man. I'm just putting that shit out there. After this, seeing this game, we gonna be all right. We gonna be good. And I still ain't doubting my team whatsoever. But I'm saying, if we want to really get over that hump, and make some noise, and it's not just about signing him, it's about signing him and actually making him fit with the team. I believe Melo will fit with us, man. I believe Pop will get his defense up to par. Tim Duncan will get his defense up to par. But we need a a, a killer out there, man. A motherfucker that's just, that can pull up in your face, man, and shoot the ball, man. We don't really have it. Because uh, all our shooters is looking, they was looking timid. Like, they keep doing this and turning down wide open shots. Like, if that was Melo and you giving him space, Melo going to drain that motherfucker. You can't give Melo no space, man. And Melo 6'9", he'll be a knockdown shooter that we need, whether it's off the dribble or spotting up. Melo will be a good asset to the San Antonio Spurs, y'all. I'm here to tell y'all, man. Just, and it, it just dawned on me like, man, after looking at this game, I'm like, yeah, we're going to need another motherfucking athletic score on this on this team, man, in order to for real, for real solidify ourselves and beat these upper echelon teams, man. Go get motherfucking, uh, we got, man, one blow shit. <laughs> Good shit. Mellow, man. Man, Mellow, please, man. Reach out to the Spurs. Pop, reach out to Mellow. RC, reach out to Mellow. We need to go sign him now. After this game right here, we need to be picking up the phone, calling Mellow. Hey, Mellow, what's up? What you doing? Get your ass up off the couch, nigga. It's time to play ball. And go forward. We're going to need that, man. I'm here to tell y'all, man. It may not seem like it, but that would be a great asset for us to have, man. We need to go get Melo. We need to sign Melo. We need to go get us an athletic center. 
to put down there in the paint to keep motherfuckers from breaking our defense down and trying to go into the paint and score. We going to force teams to become shooters. We got to force teams to become jump a uh, jump shooting team, man. Not no physicality team, man. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we need to do, man. We need to sign Melo for about a one year, two year deal. One, I say probably about two years. Sign him for about a two year deal and see how it plays out, man. If it play out great, then we keep him. Hats off to Kawhi Leonard and the Clippers, man. They did what they had to do, man. They played a solid game, man. Can't take nothing from them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, they, they did their thing, man. They balled. You did. They balled behind Kawhi. And Mary, don't worry, man. You're going to get your shit right. Dirt, you're going to get your shit right. Lonnie, same thing with you, man. You're going to get your shit right. Don't worry. They, they got to play us again, man. So when they play us again, be ready. Be more prepared. All right? It's crazy, man. So watch they watch they go and praise the Clippers on first take and, and uh, 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 undisputed about them beating us. But that's okay because they got to come back. They got to come to our house now. Yeah. And that's not going to be good. They got to come to our house now. Pop, go find your athletic big man, please. And then solidify your defense in the paint. That's going to make motherfuckers have to become jump shooting teams. Because if they see LaMarcus Aldridge down there, Chimizzi Metu or whatnot, and another big motherfucker, they'll be like, oh, man. <laughs> man. Yeah, I know what we need to do, man. We just got to do it, man. We just got to do it. Damn. Mm, mm, mm. Uh. Man, dude, that shit there, boy, motherfucker. But yeah, man, they did they thing tonight, boy. But pop, you have got to play Chimizzi Metu and put goddamn Yakupurdo on the bench, like. And then we signed that other dude, man. Uh, I, uh, we got him uh, out of free agency. I mean, yeah, free agency. I don't know why he won't play him, man. I don't know, man. Pop, you got to start playing these guys, man. Straight up. Start playing these guys, please, man. Because this shit here is just not cool, man. We should have lost. We should not have lost this game. We should have won this, man. We should have definitely won this. But we lost. So hopefully, man, we figure out some shit. Pop and go make a trade here or there. A place meant to, man. Like I really want I really vouch for Matt too, man. I want I want him to prove all the naysayers wrong, man. I really want them to straight like Unleash him, man. Unleash Metu, man. And watch him go to work. I just tell him, like, look, man, play the same way you played in college. Shit. Hustle, all that shit. Damn, man. I wish we could have won that. But, oh, well, we lost. So, practice makes perfect. Come back, whole new game, we get him. Guarantee we get him. But T 
Till next time, man, it's your boy L.A., and I'm out this piece.